Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be making Bobomb. Now, the footage you just watched, some of you may have been around long enough to remember, but it's actually just about two years old. Because just about two years ago, I released a full Bobomb video where I printed and Chelsea painted it. It was actually one of the first um, full fusion models that I had done. But today, we're going to be revisiting it to make it printable on the multi material. So let's head down and get that printing. Okay, so here you can see my first few attempts with this um, weren't a complete success. This is actually when we were still testing it out. I think this was pretty much the third original model I had created, and I had a ton of issues with this. So you can see these ones cut off early, and they kept getting jammed. This one right here failed because of a filament jam, because the uh, yellow filament that I was using was actually um, a very bad filament, and afterwards I actually measured it. And I could see that its tolerances were not very tight, because at some points it got up over 1.9 millimeters in diameter and it would swing down to 1.6 even. And as it turns out, the CR10 can handle that um, no problem. It was printing this filament great. But the Prusa multi-material is a little bit more picky. There's a couple of steel tubes in there that the filament will just get caught in and it will not be able to keep extruding. So that's what happened here. Then I switched to some other filament and I thought it was the same issue, but it turns out this one getting jammed had um, loosened some of the screws for this one. And so I ended up having to like take it apart and fix up the extruder before I could continue to print. And then this one got quite a bit farther, but um, it was a result of some more bad filament. So this goes to show you, use good quality filament because otherwise it will damage your machine and things will not print and you'll waste a ton of filament. So after all these failed, I didn't know what to do because I didn't have any yellow filament left that wasn't um, a bad brand. But after all that, I finally realized that I still had a little bit of Hatchbox yellow left, enough just to do this. Um, it was on a spool that we kind of tucked away because I didn't know what else to do with it. But it turned out this worked perfect. So we got the finished bob -omb. And of course, here is the um, purge tower for it. But I think this thing looks super cool. It looks just like bob -omb. And of course, just like the other one, it prints with no supports, and I didn't have to worry about bleeding too much. Um, I actually wanted it to bleed a little bit because I wanted it to darken this yellow just slightly. And it did a little bit, but I was hoping it would turn out a little more gold looking, but I think it still turned out pretty freaking good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I already know there's going to be a lot of comments down below t talking about how much of a waste this purge tower is. That's fine. That's not really the point of this video. It's just to give a fun little model here. I personally find it worth it to print these things, but you may not. So you don't have to use the multi-material if you don't want to, if this is too much waste for you. That's fine. I just want to show off a fun model, and then if you guys want to print this for yourself, there are links to the files down below. Alright guys, well, there you have it. Hope you thought this was cool. If you did, make sure you leave a like and get subscribed below because I'm going to have more multi-material models coming in the future and of course, lots more painted models. And if you guys want to see the original video for this guy right here, that's almost two years old, I will put a link up in the corner. You can follow that and go and watch. I think my videos have definitely come a long way since then. Alright guys, well that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons back here on the Wall of Chaos. Their support means everything. It helps us buy a little bit of extra filament and resin since we're going through so much right now. So, huge thank you to these guys. And I've actually got a few more names to put up there. Those will be coming very soon. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. And until next time, keep creating.